name is Dawn Reyes, but some of you might know me as Miss Dawn, one of the librarians at the Arlington Public Library. And I'm so happy to be a part of the River Legacy Water Festival. And today I want to share a wonderful book. It's called The Water Princess, and it is by Susan Verde, illustrated by a Peter H. Riddle. And it's based on a childhood experience of a Georgia Badali. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky, so wide and so close, I can almost touch the sharp edges of the stars. I can tame the wild dogs with my song. I can make the tall grass sway when I dance, and I may can make the wind play hide and seek, but I can't make the water come closer. I can't make the water run clearer, no matter what I command. Water, come here. It doesn't listen. It is early morning, still dark. My mother wakes me. Gigi, my princess, it is time to get up. We must collect the water. Water, come. Don't make me wake before even the sun is out of bed, I demand. Come, please, I say. But the water won't listen, and I know we will have to walk so far to the well. I am too sleepy to put on my crown. I think of the pot that will rest on my braids instead. The thirst comes quick, dry lips, dry throat. I que squeeze my eyes shut. I see it clear. I dip my toes in it cool. I scoop it up and bring it to my lips. Slowly I open my eyes, nothing. I kick the dust. I grab my empty pot and place it upon my head. My mother does the same and on our journey begins, full of song. My mama adds her melody. Our steps are, steps are light. We twirl and laugh together. The miles give us more room to dance. Halfway there, we stop for a moment at the giant kariti tree, long enough to grab a handful of sweet she nuts for energy. But then we keep on dancing, going just a little longer. Mama, are we there yet? Finally, I hear the water running from the well, the giggles of my friends, the chatter of the women. Some have traveled further than I, only to return home when the sun has gone to bed. All of them with the water. My mom holds our place while I play with my friends. The da dance continues. The water is flowing. Pots filling with the dusty earth color liquid. JJ, come, on is dead. It's my turn now. The dance home has slowed to careful steps, but my thirst is heavy like the full pot I carry. Our song is softer now. Our shoulders ache, our feet cramp. I do see home at last. Mama boils enough water for drinking. We wait, we wash our clothes, we prepare food for cooking. My father comes quickly from the fields to share in the drink and a meal. He scoops him up. My princess, you have returned with the water. And finally, drink, Mama says. Every sip fills me with energy. I want to make it last, but I can't. I just gulp it down. Clothes and bodies clean. I sing to the dogs. I dance with the tall grass. I hide from the wind. Mama brings one last cup she has saved just for me. Drink, my princess. Sleep, my princess. Tomorrow we journey again. Mama, I say as I close my head, why is the water so far? Why is the water not clean? Where is, where is our water? Sleep, she says. Dream, she says. Someday you will find a way, my princess, someday. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky, 
the dusty earth, and someday, the flowing, cool, crystal clear water, someday. So uh, that was a beautiful book, and it's based on a true story of Georgia Ben. When she was a little girl, she had to go and get water. So it wasn't like you and me that we just go turn on the tap and have clean, wonderful water. They have to travel. And she thought about that even when she came to America and when um, she became famous and said she wants to go back and help. And so she's helped to create wells. So again, her uh, family and her village doesn't have to walk so far to get that water. And she's hoping to do that for other villages throughout Africa. So again, I hope you can come to the library and check out The Water Princess. Well, hi, Marla. I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Ms. Dawn. I'm glad to see you too. And I'm very excited about doing a experiment with water today. I am too, Ms. Dawn. We're going to show you guys how to do a simple science experiment at home. And it's going to be really, really easy, but a lot of fun. Yes. And we just have three things. Water, three things. pepper, and the dish soap. That's it. Okay. And some kind of a shallow bowl or maybe even a plate. Just something that the water can kind of stand in. Okay, so first, okay. what do we do first? First, you're going to pour your water into the bowl. And about, they said about halfway up the bowl. That's perfect. Yes. And then you're going to add a lot of pepper. So just go nuts with that pepper. Get it up in there. Because you want it to cover, right? Yeah, you want to be able to see it really well. And um, you want to be able to see what the experiment is actually going to do. Okay, next. So next thing, Miss Dawn, you're going to take your pointer finger. There it is. And then you're going to put it right inside the soap. Just any kind of dish soap. Any kind, yeah. And that's okay. good. Just get kind of a, a goodly amount on your finger. And then you're going to put it right straight down into that. <gasps> see what happens. Whoa. It's making the pepper dance. It's making it go like whoop. And so the science behind that is that pepper is hydrophobic. What does that mean? It means it doesn't dissolve or mix in water. Not like sugar will it dissolve in water. Um, pepper does not. Nope. Okay, and since the water molecules are strongly attracted to each other, they have a high surface tension. It's called water tension. And it keeps the pepper afloat. I'm gonna try that again. Yeah. You can do it a bunch oh, of times. Look at this. Yes. Look at that. So adding soap breaks down the surface tension, and as the water molecules spread out away from the soap, it brings the pepper with them. And so they go flying. Yes. That was really fun. Thank you, yeah. Ms. Marla. You guys can do it at home. We love to share a song with you about splishing and splashing. So can you guys splish and splash with us? And it goes like this. Splish, splash, splish, splash. In the lake, in the lake. I just love water play. I could splish and splash all day. In the lake, in the lake. Splish, splash, splish, splash. In the tub, in the tub. I just love water play. I can splish and splash all day. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Hi, remember I'm Miss Marla. I work for the Arlington Public Library. And that was such a fun song Miss Dawn and I did. And it reminds me of this book. The Pigeon Needs a Bath. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Hi, I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy. So I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. And here's our pigeon friend and he says, that is a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I, I think it was last month. Clean, dirty, they're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, well that was pretty recently. 
Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it is impolite to bathe. Uh, all of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. And here's our flies and they say, let's get out of here. Yuck, pee you. Take a bath, dude. Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa, I'm not going to like this one bit. The water is too hot. And he adjusts it. Too cold. And he adjusts the little faucet. Too lukewarm. Too hot. <gasps> too wet. Too cold. Not enough toys. Too many toys. Is it too deep? Not deep enough. Too cold. Now it's too hot again. Too reflective. Now it's still too hot. Uh, well, I guess this is okay. Splash! Hey, this is fun. Wash, wash, washy, wash. La, 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 singing in the tub. This is the life. I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a fish, I'm a fish. 10 hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? The end. So as you can see, the pigeon really enjoyed having a bath. Let that be a lesson that if you think you might not like something, maybe give it a try and you'll really enjoy it. Marla, that was such a fun story. So, fun. so thank you so much for uh, sharing that with everybody. And again, if, if here at the Arlington Public Library, we're very happy to be a part of the River Legacy Water Festival. And you guys enjoy the rest of it. And hope you come visit at the library very soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you.